Hey everyone, welcome to another Stucan Expert session. I am excited for us to learn all about social media lead generation from Bree Nakatani, the customer success lead at Wishpond. Managing a social media channel can be fun, yet also challenging by picking up on the know-how and tools to generate thousands of new leads for your business makes you an extremely valuable person. And for that reason, I'm super stoked to learn about social media lead generation from Bree. So let's dive right in. Hey everyone, my name is Bree and I'm the customer success lead at Wish Pond. Thank you guys so much for joining us today to learn how to generate thousands of leads using social. Just to start off a little bit about myself, um, my name is Bree Nakatani. I'm the customer success lead at Wish Pond, and I've been with the company for almost four years now. Um, right after I graduated university, I started at Wish Pond and moving from an intern content marketing to customer support lead to customer success lead. So I was asked and just recently hosted a huge internet marketing conference called the Canadian Internet Marketing Conference here in Vancouver, with companies speaking like McDonald's, WestJet, Disney, Salesforce, Twitter, and more. So it's been an amazing ride and amazing to see the growth at Wishpond and a real honor to still be working with clients that we started with four years ago and to see their businesses grow and change over the years. Um, and to have worked with some major companies such as Nestle, Coca-Cola, Home Depot, KFC, Fairmont, etc. So a little bit about Wishpond. We started as a Facebook store company, then a contest-based company, and we started off as a small player, but we became super successful as the largest provider of Facebook contests. We were also the fastest growing SaaS startup in Canada, and SaaS is software as a service. We then grew into providing a full suite of online marketing tools from contests to landing pages, pop-ups, forms, email marketing automation, because these were the tools we used to grow our business and we wanted to spread that joy to our users as they're super powerful. All right, so today we're gonna cover how to run a sweepstakes on Twitter, an Instagram hashtag contest, and Facebook photo contests. Now, even though I say specifically a sweepstakes on Twitter, a photo contest on Facebook, you can run them either or, either platform. Um, the Instagram hashtag contest is specific for Instagram, but you can run it on either Twitter or Facebook as well if you want and actually host it there, but I'll get into that later. So we'll cover those. Those are our most popular contests that our clients run, and plus I'll give you some top tips and tricks throughout the webinar so that you can walk away with actionable takeaways that you can get started on right after that webinar and implement for yourself. All right, so when most companies want to run a contest, there's about 13 different types. So photo contests, vote contests, Instagram contests, essay contests, um, referral contests, and so many more. So generally, the first contest companies run are the sweepstakes. It's the most simple type. It gets a lot of traction and new leads, and you can run any of these contests on your website, Facebook page, Twitter page, custom wish plan subdomain, your own, your own domain. Um, but I'm going to talk about specific types on specific platforms so you can apply these strategies right away to the different platforms or whatever contest you want to run. So to start off, a sweepstakes on Twitter. So this is an example, um, enter to win a Trooper Bar Runner signed by Bruce Dickinson. Um, it has over 60 entries, it just started, and this contest is going to run for a month and a half. So this just started and anyone that enters becomes an automatic follower of them and automatically sends a tweet that they entered which helps spread the word about the campaign and increase followers. Of course it is with their permission that this automatically happens and in order for them to enter they have to accept that our app will automatically do those things and the majority of entrants are fine with it and enter right away and the majority of users on Twitter use mobile so the campaign is mobile optimized as well with the responsive design this is enter to win a fish hamper which has fresh scallops crab crevettes prawns shrimps yum from the dockside finest quality seafood they have over 300 entries in a day and it's running for a month so these are a couple of campaigns i just pulled as their current and there are they are just starting and already gained so much traction because of the nature of how the contest is optimized to share optimized to enter and it's so easy to set up so some good practices for a sweepstakes 
A good amount of time to run a sweepstakes on Twitter is a month. You can run it longer to allow more time for the word to spread and gain traction, or less if you think your audience is the anxious type that will all enter right away and want to know who the winner is sooner than later. So fill it out. Tweet it out once a day. Since the contest lives within your tweets and will constantly move down on your Twitter feed uh, of your followers, you want to make sure they see it. But also, you want to make sure that you're not annoying them with the same content over and over in your tweets. So try to switch up the copy of how you talk about your contest, like enter to win a $100 gift card to GardenWorks. And then in the next tweet, it could be Need new gardening tools for spring season? Enter to win a gift card to cover the costs. Um, things like that. So look look to change up the copy for all of your tweets and it'll keep the contest um, top of mind and also interesting. And you can see here, Dogside switches up their copy as well. A couple years ago, our client uh, Smite Games, which is a gaming company, had so many people enter their campaign, it crashed our servers. <laughs> so when you build up a following and run them often, that is the awesome traction that you can get um, from running a monthly giveaway. People anticipate the next one and the word spreads um, more about your contest and that you exclusively run them on Twitter or whatever platform you choose to run it on and a following grows and your audience grows and your marketing messages are seen and heard by a larger audience and to get qualified leads so qualified people entering your contest that um, will actually be interested in your business and will purchase from you give away something in relation to your business don't give away an iPad because you will attract people only interested in the iPad, not your products or messaging. Most of you want to make sales at the end of the day, so build an audience of customers, not ones only in it for the free stuff. Um, so if you are going to give away something like an iPad, it has nothing to do with your business, you will get a ton of entries, and if that's something you want to do, go for it. Um, but they will not care about your future marketing efforts. They'll probably unfollow you on Twitter or whatever social platforms you've asked them to follow you on. Um, they'll unsubscribe for your mailing list because that's all they wanted. If they don't win it, they're out. So do give away something in relation to your business because that gets you qualified leads right away. That's getting people that are interested in your products. And if they don't win, you can send them a consolation prize saying, hey, here's a 10% discount. Sorry you didn't win. And you can make that sale. The next contest I want to talk about is the Instagram hashtag contest to increase followers. Uh, this is a contest run by Helly Hansen and Sport Check. Um, this is their promotional image about the contest and the details to enter. Take a picture of yourself enjoying the outdoors in the rain for your chance to win a trip to Bergen, Norway. I was just in Norway. It was very beautiful. <laughs> or Rainwear from Hilly Hansen. You are asked to follow two accounts, hashtag we love rain and mention both accounts. So that's quite a bit of things that they are asking you to do to enter the contest and they had a ton of entries. They used our Instagram hashtag contest to run the campaign and they chose to host it on a custom wish upon some domain. Usually our clients will host it on a Facebook page or their website as well. They had almost 300 participants. So what our app does is ensure that everyone follows the rules in order to be qualified to win and gathers all of the data and analytics for our clients to view and monitor so they can modify and, and improve future Instagram marketing efforts. So it's a really smooth process and easy to scale. Uh, they chose a winner based on which photo they like the most and they announced their winners on their website. So you can contact winners on Instagram using their direct messaging or just at mentioning them in a post announcing they won. This is a contest that is running on a custom wish pun subdomain, Salming, two month long contest. In three words, explain why you should be the next Salming ambassador. The winner gets to be the ambassador and sent products throughout the year and be featured on their website. They have over 1,000 participants. They ask you to follow them and put two campaign hashtags, Salming Ambassador and Sun Swedish. Another reason some of our customers like to use the Instagram hashtag contest is to collect all the images for a campaign hashtag and display them together. And since this collects all photos that you set as the hashtag, they populate in the page. So you can download and keep them and so others can view and enjoy. This is one by Canada Goose, and they were running this at the Sundance Film Festival. And so it just displays all the photos from their event, so you can just use it to display images. 
But most of all, it is so easy to manage, enforce rules, choose a winner, and gather and monitor campaign analytics to see the results of your contest. So the best practices for the first contest, ask for a hashtag only is usually our uh, piece of advice, and that will get you a ton of participants. So it's really simple to enter. Most likely, if you're asking for a hashtag, they'll subsequently follow you anyways to keep in the loop with the campaign. But if you really want to gain followers and give away a substantial prize, then ask participants to tag three friends in order to be entered to win. That helps you get referrals suggested by your existing followers and expand your network to target your market. Post about the campaign three times a week on Instagram. Post your prize, the value of the prize, and switch up the captions and photos you post to promote it, keeping it interesting. The next contest I'm going to cover and the last one is a photo contest on Facebook to increase likes. Now the photo contest, of course, you can run it on whatever platform you want. We're going to talk about running it on Facebook, which is one of the more popular platforms to run it. Um, so this is Tailgate Alaska running a Never Summer Snowboard Graphic Contest, which is running for one week and has almost 90 participants so far. And these are all qualified leads. These are all people that are interested in snowboard graphic design. Um, so the winner is based on most votes. The top three will be looked at by them, and they will choose the winning one. The winner will get one of the limited edition snowboards and a ticket to Tailgate Alaska. And they have a specific set of rules and template that you need to use to enter, which is great for getting those qualified leads. So even though they have 90 participants, that's a ton of participants for a photo contest, especially because it's so specific, um, the type of people that they want entering and how they have to enter. Um, so they're doing a really great job. This is Relics Fan Photo Contest. This is running for just over two weeks and has over 580 participants. Great for collecting photos to use in marketing efforts. Um, their winner's photo gets published in the Relics magazine. They want you to tell them about your photo and they choose the winning photo from the top 10 photos with the most votes. So they have control over which photo gets put in the magazine ultimately, but they get everyone to crowdsource their votes um, for the top 10 ones, which is a really great way for you if you wanted to run in a photo contest to still have control over what you're putting out um, if you're promising to publish their images anywhere. Um, which will represent your business. So if you want to increase fans, we have an awesome like gating feature as well, um, which helps encourage a like on your page before they enter. So Facebook rules are that you can't require it. So this is the way around it, that it says no thank you in the bottom right corner there, um, but it still encourages that like. So we highly encourage you to enable this feature if you're interested in um, increasing fans on your Facebook page. Don't ask for too many steps in the form as they've already, they already have to upload a photo and write a description and enter your contest for the photo contest. Um, have voting so that it becomes a fun and competitive contest and brings the participants' networks to your contest when they vote and they can enter too. And plus it helps spread the word about your company and the campaign. So we highly suggest that you do enable voting for your photo contest. To create a contest, we have an easy WYSIWYG editor. Uh, what you see is what you get. So um, you can click on any area that you want to edit and add your information, images, form fields, and more. So you should totally give it a try for your business. Um, you can generate a lot of really great qualified leads and followers. And lastly, I just wanted to touch on with Wishpond, all the leads that you collect from your campaigns, whatever contest you run on social, or on your website, wherever you choose to run it, they all funnel into your leads database. So this is, an, this is the leads database uh, dashboard in the Wishpond account. Um, if you had an account, this is what it would look like. And if you click on any of the emails that you've collected, so the leads, you can see their activity, which is awesome because you can then use that information to target them in highly targeted email marketing automation campaigns. So as you can see here on the right, we can see that in, they've been sent an email, they've completed a workflow, um, lead properties have changed, so we got their first name, their email, they've converted on a landing page, they've viewed a campaign. We give you a tracking pixel that you can install on your website, on the, all the pages on your website, and we can track all the pages that they're looking on your website. Um, so for instance, 
even for visitors, people that you haven't even collected their email yet, we can track by their IP address. So let's say they look at your homepage on your website, then they click through and they look at your pricing page, and then they enter your contest and then they sign up. Um, you can see that flow and you can see what actions your customers are taking before they convert and become a customer and it can really help you tailor your marketing campaigns, make changes on your website, change the flows, your sales flows, everything. So it's really cool and of, like I said, that's really helpful when you want to send targeted marketing campaigns. And so we have a marketing automation tool that allows you to create email newsletters, workflows, emails, and you can send them out to your new leads based on their attributes and their actions and their customer profiles. And you can start building your customer profiles and really understanding and knowing who, you, who your customers are um, while getting all the social followers on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So it's really cool. I highly recommend you check us out at wishpun.com and you can try out any of our contests. Uh, we have a 14 day free trial on any of our annual plans and you can try it out for free. Um, and we have live support available 24 seven, um, well, 24 hours a day, five days a week. So you can ask them any questions throughout the week if you need any help. And thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed.